Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install PY Sabal. Um, these steps are a follow up of the installation steps which you did in the second day of the course. So if you haven't done that, please go to eCanvas, get started. And you can see the video and the slides on installation of required softwares, uh, which I have posted last week. So you should uh, follow this video and install all the libraries, which I have mentioned there, to make PY Sabal work. Now let's see how to, um, how to download PY Sabal library, where it is, and how to run PY Sabal on this barrel. So this is the link where you can uh, see the latest version of uh, PY Sabal. It's in my GitHub repository, as per it's PY Sabal dev. And you can see that there are multiple versions. The last version is version 3.7.3. You have to select that one. There are there are some explanation about PY Sabal here. Now, once you select the version, go to code and say download zip that will download the PY Sabal library as a zip file, the version 3.7.3. I recommend you to download it into D drive. Only if you don't have D drive, you can um, download it into any other drive. Why? Because the test data will work without any changes uh, if you um, download it into D drive. So I download uh, this package into D drive. Now I'm going to D drive here. You can see that my zip file is here. So I'm going to say extract here. Now it extracted a folder called pysubal underscore dev also including the version number so to make life easy i will remove this part and keep only the folder as pysubal underscore dev so in this library you can see that there are multiple folders the main sabal script is in sabal folder you can see there is a py sabal script and a run script and you have to uh, use this run script to run the py sabal you have to make some changes which we will see in the next uh, video uh, here i have also provided some test data uh, only input so if you run the test data if you run uh, py sabal it should create a output folder here and some output files so if you manage to do that and the output folder is created with files that means your py sabal uh, installation is uh, well and good um, so let's see if uh, the installation will work. So to run PY Sabal, what you have to do is you have to go to OSGO4W shell. Now in OSGO4 shell, when you open, it's always in C drive. Here you can see. Now you have to move to D drive. You have to move to this directory, D PY Sabal underscore dev inside Sabal because we have to run this one. So to move to different drive, you can just put D semicolon because we want to move to D drive. If you have uh, saved it into another drive, change accordingly. Then it will change or move to D drive here. And now to move to a different folder, you can use a command called CD. PY, if you use tab, then it will automatically complete the folder name. So CD means change directory. So please change directory space PY Sabal underscore dev. Now you are in PY Sabal underscore dev, but we want to get into CD Sabal. So I get into CB, uh, CD Sabal here. So we are in PY Sabal underscore dev Sabal. Now, if you want to know, okay, if you are in the right folder, can use a command called ls which will list the folders here or files here so you can see that okay you are in the right folder you see the same files here and here okay now the first step uh, to run py sabal is to enable python 3 environment because osgeo4shell um, by default 
comes with Python 2 now. So you have to, but by Sabal require Python 3, uh, which is the latest version. So let us enable Python 3 en environment by typing this command and pressing enter. Now, uh, now this next step is uh, uh, to run the Python script. Uh, you type Python space and the script you want to run. In this case, it is run underscore py3 dot py. So enter. Now, if there is some error, it will show here. If there is no error, it will keep on running. And it should be fast because it's small error. You can see that, uh, yeah, it's finished for me. So when, when it goes back to the folder line here, uh, that means uh, the run is finished, uh, most probably successful or if there is any error, it should show something, or if it finished within seconds, that means it didn't run properly. But let's go to the output folder, and now you can see that there are three folders, one log file, uh, for which we'll go into details later. So this means, in my case, the installation was successful, so this is how you have to download py sabal uh, and test run it. Uh, there's a website which is called pysabaldoc, uh, read the docs.io. This one, if you go here, there is a detailed uh, tutorial about pysabal, how it is installed, the data requirements, the preparation, and execution. Thank you. Good luck with your installation.